Hallelujah. I'm going to be talking about what God showed me, divine revelation, and I know that even as we talk about it, God is going to communicate his intention to us, and this is why we, we had to, you know, come out and tell the world, I hope you're doing okay, I want to welcome you especially and thank you for taking out the time to listen. This will bless you, and it will in turn bless someone also that you know it's time for us. It's a call. In this particular revelation, something strange was happening. Something I could not tell. So there was a medium where people could relate and by relate here, I mean could interact with people that were gone. People that were deceased. Dead. But they had a body, a reality that um, looked like it was their body. So the confusion here for me was he looked like another world where the dead were comfortably living another life with the living. Now this was the mix-up. And it was so serious that God took me to a particular place where people were being searched, you know, like when you want to go, you know, travel out, you know, people were being, the, the scanner was being used. And these people, what I saw was that they were not humans, but they looked like humans. And so when they walked into the scanner, the scanner saw that they were okay. But I could see that they were not humans. So what did God tell me? We are in a season of invoking of spirits. Man, because of rebellion and um, decision, sheer decision to do bad, has continuously found himself doing what God does not want him to do. And by money, I'm talking about the people, the people of the earth. And as such, they have delved into things that you and I may not know. But why are we discussing this today? It's because God wants us to know. So while we are there being bothered about transgender and all the trans, transmitting, the truth is, there's something else happening that we do not know about. And even if we know about it, we are not prepared for it. God is calling out on us, the vigilant. Another thing God told me is that the desires, there are people that are still grieving a lost one, which is really not bad. But they are patronizing palm readers. You know, there's a new age thing. They are patronizing people that can conjure and invoke the spirits. And the challenge of the spirit realm is that you never can tell how far you go. You never can tell how far the devil will go when you call. So it's very, very dangerous. How can we be having business, for example, with someone and that person does not exist? Where are we headed? That's beyond science and technology. 
This is demonic. And maybe it has not started happening here. You are. But God is calling our attention. We'll be hearing of the Iliad invention. It's an invasion. What the enemy is doing is to put what is happening in front of us like in move, like um, for example, as a movie, or maybe as a write-up, or maybe as a book, or maybe as an app. Something. And why the enemy is trying to build like an invisible world, trying to cover the eyes of many. He is behind the scene causing the havoc. So we are at a time where we see a lot of people on social media now, 247. So the myths and the secrets in books, even in videos, people are not, people no longer have that time. So the enemy is also day and night trying to make man to just be excited. There's a high. That excitement is a high. So you wake up with what's the high? What's the next high? As you're wondering, that's the way I wonder. What has the living got to do with the death? Whatever the agenda is, it will not be a good agenda. Because it is against what God says. But the living has nothing to do with the death. Second question is, what are these people coming to us to do? Where are they coming from? Why mankind? Why not become like a, a, a dog or a rabbit? Why man? These are things that should concern us as we dig deep, as we pray. Oh Lord. Of our generation. And God says to tell us it is about the target here is on what we know, the word in our spirit, the word as it is. This is the end time target. If the enemy can successfully tell you that black is blue then he can he can do anything if your level of knowledge is formatted to accept lies as truth then there is no end to what can come we are at a time where people are believing that everybody have their life perfect as except themselves we are at a time where we're believing that the money is the only thing that you can use to prove that, you know, God is with you. We are at a time where people hurt you and they feel that they are, you know, they are, they are trying to show you that they, are, they have class. So people are mistaking class to be rudeness and all that goes with it. And people are beginning to turn their stones into bread. So you see the crowd come and the next is how do I now enrich myself? And um, we are at a time where people are beginning to mix, you know, pour, struggle for to pour the new wine in the old wine skin. So um, even the church, okay, you know, let's just go, let's do it the secular way, you know, um, um, having role models as secular people, you know, and um, trying to mimic them, trying to be like them, you know, trying to idolize them. And programs everywhere. What is going on? There's a mixture, mixture in our society. There's a mixture. And I'm so passionate about this because it's time. You know, the great news is that there are people that are coming. I believe that this word is for you. There are people that are coming. That no vain thing will be a motivation. No vain thing. They will have one assignment, which is to stampede darkness and implement the word of God. These are people that will continue to decree and declare thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. These are people that will carry the banner 
of the gospel. And I tell you, no matter what the havoc is right now, some will perish because they don't have enough knowledge or they did not see someone one day. But I'm hoping that someone, you will listen to this and share it and tell somebody. So by the time you see people shouting, I saw someone that was dead. Listen to them very well. But they have an agenda. But the good news now is that we've had that God himself had an agenda. So regardless of what the angels want to do, and the fallen angels are planning to do with mankind. Imagine dating a ghost or getting married to a ghost and having children. We must be warned something is coming for humanity. Something is coming. We may not be able to explain it, but those that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. It's a time to ask God for the spirit of discernment. It's a time to ask God for mercy. It's a time to, to ask God for confusion in the attempts. Babies are going to be produced in tubes. People with minds People that look like human beings, but they are not human beings. God will help us. Go ahead and share. Go ahead and tell somebody about it. Something is coming. And it's, we must be conscious of it. Ghosts, aliens, the dead, spirits look like us but they are not one of us i know that god will help us 